Porter. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we are talking about Jink 2x Mulligan and, more importantly, Java 1.8. Uh, in particular, we're going to talk about uh, more about functional interfaces and some of the built-in ones that Java 1.8 gives us. So there are a lot of common operations that people will want to do with the lambdas. And in order to do those, there has to be a functional interface defined. Um, so instead of making people define their own functional interface anytime they want to write code that takes a lambda of that type, they've provided a, a couple core functional interfaces for us to use. And we're going to go through some of the, the jink to XML code and delete all of the extra functional interfaces that I don't need anymore because Java provides them and refactor the code to handle it appropriately. All right, so let's hop in. Let me take the time to talk about the beer that I'm drinking. This is called Hop Slam. It is by Hop Slam Ale. It is by Bell's Brewing out of uh, Michigan. And it is a limited release beer and it is a fantastically hoppy uh, IPA. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It is delicious. All right, let's hop into the refactoring. Uh, that's really going to involve just deleting some of these functional interfaces I went over in a previous video and then replacing them with calls to uh, the built-in Java equivalent. So this interface, Action, provides a method called uh, Act that returns void and takes in an object, a Jode in this case. Java has one that's exactly equivalent called Consumer. So we're going to delete Action and then uh, find where it's being used and call consumer and it's a consumer of Jode and instead of the act method it's accept and that's all there is to it so now we're using the built-in interface instead and that's all the changes I need to make I delete a whole interface and make a little change here. So let's go on. Action with index is almost the same thing, except uh, uh, this method takes an extra index parameter. So uh, what I'll do is delete this one. And where it's being used, I'm going to use something called an obj uh, int consumer. That takes a jode as well and call the same accept method on it. And this time it expects another int parameter. This obj int consumer uh, takes in an object of some type, in this case Jode, as well as an int. It does exactly what we want it to do. Uh, so I'm going to though specify here that um, the second param is the current so um, I N D E X. So before, when I was using my specific interface, it was defined on that interface what the method was doing. In this case, you'll probably want to specify in your Java doc what you expect from your object int consumer. All right, let's delete some more. Uh, I'm going to delete one called X former, and this X former just takes in a Jode and returns some object. And there is the exact same thing called a, um, a function in the built-in Java ones. So I'm going to delete xformer, even though I like the name. And I'm going to find where it's being used. A couple places here. And so instead of taking an xformer, it's going to take a function. Uh, and the function is going to take a jode and return string. And instead of x form, it is called apply. And that's all there is to that one. Let's find another place down here. Instead of taking a transformer, we're going to take a function that takes in a jode and returns a t. And instead of calling x form, we're going to call apply. And that will take care of that. Uh, let's remove the reference to it and we're all set. 
Um, equally, there is an interface called converter that I define that is almost the exact same thing as a function too, or is the exact same thing as a function. So I'm going to delete this and find the places where it was being used. It's like only one place. And instead of taking a converter, it's going to take oops, a, fun a function. And instead of calling convert, you call apply. And that's all there is to it. So there's all of these awesome new functional interfaces that Java gives us right out of the box. Uh, this saves us time from having to write a bunch of boilerplate interfaces in order to just pass lambdas where we want them to go. So I think they've done a great job Im implementing the, the new lambda feature in 1.8. Um, as always, if you liked this and would like to see more about Java 1.8, please click su subscribe. Also, please post feedback in the comments. I really like to hear from you guys. Um, I try to listen to your feedback. Like, for example, this whole 1.8 stuff that I'm doing is feedback from a YouTube user. Thank you so much. Um, so I really like hearing from you guys. And uh, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Cheers. Mmm.